Why is rest and recovery so pivotal to achieving fitness goals? The answer lies in understanding the physiological changes our bodies undergo during intense exercise. The process of muscle tissue breakdown, energy depletion and accumulation of waste products like lactic acid all call for a strategic recovery plan. Today, we'll delve into the importance of rest and recovery and some key steps to ensure you're giving your body what it needs to bounce back stronger. Picture this, you've just finished a grueling workout, your muscles ache, you're drenched in sweat and you feel a sense of accomplishment, but the work isn't over yet. Here's what you need to do to aid your body in its recovery. First, hydrate. As you exercise, you lose vital fluids through sweat. Dehydration can lead to muscle cramps, fatigue and diminished performance. So it's crucial to replenish these lost fluids with water or electrolyte-rich drinks during and after your workout. Next, nourish your body. Post-exercise nutrition is a critical part of recovery. Aim to consume a balanced meal or snack within an hour after your workout, focusing on a combination of carbohydrates for energy replenishment and protein for muscle repair and growth. Remember, your body does the majority of its repair and recovery work while you sleep. Strive for 7 to 9 hours of quality, uninterrupted sleep per night to facilitate muscle recovery and reduce soreness. Listen to your body. Muscle tightness and soreness are signs that you need to focus on particular recovery strategies. Foam rolling and stretching can aid in easing tightness, while rest might be necessary for sore muscles. Consider ice and heat therapy. Ice can reduce inflammation and soothe acute pain, making it beneficial for injuries or post-workout soreness. Heat, on the other hand, promotes blood flow and can help relax tense muscles. Compression garments can also be beneficial. These items, such as sleeves or socks, can improve circulation and reduce muscle soreness. They are particularly useful during long periods of inactivity or when dealing with swelling. Incorporate regular stretching routines to improve flexibility and alleviate muscle tension. Massages can also relax muscles, improve blood flow, and accelerate recovery. Engage in light, low-impact activities that mimic your workout. This movement simulation can stimulate blood flow and aid in recovery without putting excessive stress on muscles and joints. Active recovery is another essential aspect. This involves performing low-intensity exercises on rest days to maintain mobility and promote blood flow without overtaxing the body. Don't forget to take rest days. At least one or two rest days per week are crucial to prevent overtraining and burnout, allowing your body to fully recover. Last but not least, allow for the proper amount of recovery, typically 24 to 48 hours, between working the same muscle group. This helps to prevent injuries and hindered progress. In summary, effective recovery is a multifaceted process. Hydration, nutrition, sleep, monitoring discomfort, ice and heat therapy, compression, stretching, massage, movement simulation, active recovery, rest days, and allowing ample recovery time between working the same muscle group all contribute to a successful fitness journey. Remember, rest and recovery are not optional extras but integral aspects of any fitness regimen. So, make sure you're giving your body the rest it needs to rebuild and come back stronger.